York, force 24e. OK. As it was, as it was the case, European Jews were trapped, completely trapped. There was no exit. The only exit out of the catastrophic situation was the way of money. Money, in Rabbi Weismandel's eyes, was the only possibility to provide a rescue. Because, you know, we Jews, we are an eminently historical people. And Weismandel was penetrated by Jewish history. And Jewish history has proven that Jews saved their lives with the money all the time. So that was the central idea. And he was right insofar that avenues opened, him, opened itself up for dealings with money. He conceived the so-called Europa Plan, which was, which was his idea. Uh, can, you, uh, can you explain this better, the Europa Plan? Europa Plan. Europa Plan was a grandiose idea to save not only Jews of Slovakia and Hungary, but to save all European Jews all for money. All for Euro European Jews, all were European Jews who were trapped. Because, as a matter of fact, all European Jews were mm. trapped. The Jews in France and in Belgium and in Holland and, uh, and those who were still in Germany, they were all trapped. So since Rabbi Weismandl saw and felt that there is a receptivity, a, a, a possibility that money could do something, he widened his plan to rescue the, from rescuing just Slovakian or Hungarian Jews to a much bigger plan because to uh, rescue all European Jews. Yes, because at the beginning uh, he, he tried to deal with the Nazi in order to rescue yes, the Slovakian yes. Jews, and he thought that it was uh, that it worked. Yes, he, he submitted this plan to Wislitzeni. Wislitzeni was uh, was uh, very skeptical. Not only skeptical, he he laughed at it because he says we don't even have the money to rescue the Slovakian Jews. How could you conceive the idea? to rescue European Jews, you will, you will need a vast more, uh, a bigger amount of money. But nevertheless, Wislitzeni channeled this plan to the higher authorities, I think to Kaltenbrunner. To Himmler. And to Himmler himself. Mm -hmm. But nothing came of it, because at that stage of the war, you know, uh, they were not so much interested in, in doing something for the Jews in order to win the favor of the Allies, because they were still convinced they will win the war. Mm -hmm. Only at the later stage, when they were doubtful about victory, then they were trying, then if that European plan could have been realized later, later they would have been more receptive, but there were no Jews anymore. Yes, of course. You see. Yes. Yes, uh, all right, but... Uh, Weismandel conceived this uh, Europa plan and thought, okay, I need money. Money is my bitter enemy, no? Right. Mm. He, he conceived this plan because he saw there is an opening. He saw it. That there was. The best proof of that is that he stopped the transportation for, for, for many months. In Slovakia. In Slovakia, you see. So that gave him obvious proof that they are receptive for money. At that time, the question was only about $50,000. And you think that the deportations were stopped because of the action of Weismandel only for this of reason? Of course, of course. That was the, the matter with this fake letter, with this fake letter of, of Ferdinand Roth. Uh, uh, Weismandel faked a letter uh, he, he, uh, of an Im imaginary person uh, who is the representative of international jury because you see the Nazis were obsessed by the idea that there is international jury, very powerful organization. Of course this idea came to them from that book, The Elders of Zion, 
which, which appeared in the, uh, the turn of the, ninth, of the, of the century, yes. which uh, established the idea that there is a secret, powerful uh, organization called the Elders of Zion, and they, they uh, command all Jews of the world. So there is something like international jury which have all the threats in their hands, you know. So international jury is very powerful. And we are international jury has the money too. International has the money, of course. Yes. They are the capitalists, they have the money, all the money. So therefore, this idea of sending an emissary who will deal with the heads of the international jury, that was believed. So Weismandel in his, in his uh, in faking this letter and, and making up the whole story that he will contact international jury, that fell on a fruitful ground. Yes, so but uh, excuse me, but this was uh, the real tragedy because the Weismandel tried to trap the Nazi at, at their own uh, game. Right. Uh, he said, okay, the Nazi believe in uh, international jury, I will act as if there as would if be there would an be international, international jury. jury. Of course, of course, that was the idea. And he said, I will. Yes. He, said he, used, he, he used their own, their own uh, uh, fantasy, their own exactly. imagination, and, and wanted to, 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 uh, to gain something from that by, by, by telling them, I will contact international jury, I will get the money. Yes, but and what happened? International jury didn't answer. International Jew didn't answer because it doesn't exist. Exactly. Yes, um, okay, now explain me the, the story of Ferdinand Roth because he went on. Well, he, well, he, faked, a, a fa he faked a letter that Ferdinand Roth, the m intermediary between uh, Weismandl and international jury, he is in Switzerland and he is acting uh, uh, to get to get the money, and of course, since the money didn't come, he faked another letter, telling that the, that person with whom Ferdinand Roth is dealing is ill. He is in the hospital. He should wait for a, for another two or three weeks or four weeks, and the money will come. And Weismandl, in his desperation, he didn't know what will happen, but he was hoping for some miracle that in the meantime he will on clandestine ways arouse Jews in America and in Switzerland to provide the money, you know. But he was not successful in that. He was not successful. So finally, finally, Wisselzeny, who was waiting, and he was believing this fake letter, and he postponed, he postponed the deadline, finally he saw that, that uh, nothing came of it. So the, the, the trains began to roll again. Yes, but this is an absolute tragedy that he had to uh, he had to invent a, uh, a response. He yes. had to invent international yes. jury in it, order. Yes. Uh, an international jury uh, didn't exist, as you say. Did not exist. Yes. This is one of the most tragic points, in my opinion. It is. It certainly is. It certainly is. But did he talk to you later on about this, uh, because uh, this fantastic idea of the Europa plan, because it's a complete insane idea in one way? It is a complete insane idea, and on the, and, and the other hand, it, is, it was a very realistic idea. Because after all, you put yourself in his shoes. The man was desperate. Well, desperate is an understatement. He, he, was, he was completely, uh, uh, frantic, and he saw a a small opening, a small opening, money, because when he suggested to Wislitzeni that he will give him money, Wislitzeni did not did not c uh, 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 hit him in his face. He was listening to him, and as a matter of fact, he started the deportations. So he saw money. Money is a an agent, money is important. So why shouldn't he have thought on a bigger scale? Why shouldn't he? It was natural for him. He says, if money can do something, why can't it? Why can't money be uh, working not only for the Slovakian Jews? Money could work for European Jews. He was a man of 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 thinking big. Yes. 
So it was not quite so insane as you but think. Did he believe it completely? I mean, you I see, think that the actors believing, asked him, believing yes, what is a meaning? man in desperation believes that what he has to believe in order to hold himself. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot use a measurement, the measurement of cool logic to, to use and a man who is, who is confronted with a situation which is beyond logic. Yes. He has to operate, he has to operate with means with, which are illogical, because the whole situation was illogical. Yes, and the people who answered him, uh, I think they asked him for reports from Oh, they were, they were very logical people, yes. you see. They wanted, they were very orderly people. They wanted for him a, a complete report. You need money? For what? How much money did you spend? For what did you spend it? So how? So how could he? How could he act like that? He he answered them. I can't give you a report. I can't do. I am not. I am. I am in situa in a situation beyond. About reports, Weismandel needed big sums to send diplomatic uh, people to send his messages in the diplomatic pouch to the Vatican, to Switzerland, to Turkey, wherever there were Jews or not Jew or non-Jews in the free countries, he contacted them. He had to bribe these diplomatic uh, uh, emissaries to take his messages, mm -hmm. and he paid them good money for that. Well, how could that appear in a report? He can't. He couldn't, he couldn't talk about these things and many, many other amounts here and there which helped about small situations. There, there is, these are not matters in a regular accounting, you see. So, but the people who were sitting in an orderly society, they couldn't, if they gave money, they wanted to know what is it for. I want to know exactly, you see. So two worlds were clashing against each other. Exactly. You see. And this is the main point. This is a very important point. It is a, it is a matter of mentality, of approach. You see. What is money? You see, to Weismandl, money ma meant nothing. He could give money left and right when, when it could indirectly help somehow to pave a way, you know, a, in, 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 indirect, in indirect ways to, to, get, to get someone who knows someone and he knows someone who might be helpful, you know. So all these things are not matters for an accounting. Yes, and so they were answering with budgets and with reports budgets and, and, so and, and It was re the real clash of two worlds. A clash of two worlds. But it is a point. Uh, how is it possible to imagine Treblinka from uh, Washington or from New York? No. This is uh, very difficult. No. But uh, the fact is that the State Department and the, and the leading officials knew exactly yes. what was going on. All of them. All of them. All of them. And the leading Jews too. And the leading Jews too. Leading Jews too. But they, uh, they, f they had more relation with the Gentile, with the gentleman in the State Department, more affinity with him than with those orthodox bearded Jews, you know. This was a different world, a different world, you see. And uh, if uh, that polished gentleman from the State Department explained to him, look, we can do these things now, we have to wait after the war and don't disturb the, the public and uh, don't, uh, don't interfere with the war effort, you see, he found an, an acceptable, uh, uh, agreeable Answer. ear, you see. 